welcome to Puzzle Master. Today I'm going to be showing you the solution for the Hanayama Duet Puzzle. Which means I'm going to show you the two different routes that you have to take to separate those two half done pieces from the duet puzzle and they actually solve or they actually come off in the same place and once we've done that i'll then show you how you can reassemble it back into that original duet puzzle position now the duet puzzle is a level five out of six on the hanayama difficulty scale and it is a level nine out of ten on the puzzle master difficulty scale and if you haven't already got the duet puzzle for yourself then you can pick it up from our website puzzlemaster.ca and without further ado, let's get on with the solution. Okay, so here is a fully assembled duet puzzle. And our aim is to get these two pieces separated from this maze piece, is what we're going to call it. Now, first of all, we're going to be holding the puzzle in this orientation. So we're on the, on the side that has the duet engraving. And that's going to be on this bottom side the whole time. And we're just going to be moving the gold pieces around here. We're not going to be swapping sides or twisting around with the actual maze piece. It's just the gold donut pieces that we're going to be moving around. Now what we need to do is we need to follow or find two different routes to get in these two pieces off. Now these two pieces are exactly the same piece but they are in opposite positions. So we, we we need to find two different routes, or there will be, there has to be, two different routes to get these two pieces separated. Now along the routes that we're about to follow, we do get to a point where we get to the same position. So at that point, each of the two gold pieces will then follow the same end route to actually separate the puzzle, or to separate them both from the maze piece. And we're actually going to be, the last move, we're going to come off down in this corner in here but we have to go all around the puzzle before we actually get to that point to start with. So first of all, we're gonna start with the donut that can slide up into this position here. If we tried with this one, we can't get into that position. So make sure we're, or you can't really go wrong in terms of picking the, uh, the gold piece. But once we go into this position, we're then gonna turn over and slide over into this position here. We're then going to twist back over. I'm not going to describe the twists over too much. The The positions that we go into, you can only really do them from the pos uh, one position. So you can't really get confused with, with this. Uh, but next we're going to come over here and over here. And then we're going to twist around into this position and slide off this top right hand corner into this position here. Now this final move, where we go over here, our final move to get, we're now at the point at which we will do the same route to get both of these pieces off. So in this position here, we will end up with this gold half donut piece in this position as well. And we'll end up following the same route that we're about to follow with this half donut to separate it. So first of all, we're going to come over into this position here, and then we're going to keep going into that middle square. We're going to turn over and come off and into this position here, and we're then going to come upside down and come over into that position there. Now we do one big turn where we cross over three things at the same time. We go to here, to here, and to here. And then we've just got two moves to do. We're gonna come off the left hand side here. And then the final move, we slide over that edge just in there. And that is how we separate the first donut. Now for the second one, we do, again, it finishes the same way that we just finished with that first one. But obviously we need to get up into this position before we can follow that same route. And to do that, we're going to slide over that bottom side here. We're going to turn over and come on to the bottom left hand corner. And then we're going to slide into that middle piece in there. Then we slide onto when we're in the right position. We we'll slide into this position here. And then we come into this middle right hand side and we do big twist all the way around to this position up here 
And now, with this next move, we're going to end up in that same position that we did with the first half donut, which was here. Sort of half off the puzzle, half on the puzzle. And we're now going to do the same routine that we did on the same second half of the routine that we did to separate this piece. So we're going to come on to that top side. And what are we going to do next? Uh, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep going into that middle piece. Turn over and then slide into this position. We'll turn over and slide onto this, this middle, middle left hand square. And then we do that big turn again. So we come over one, two, three sides. And then the final two moves, we come off that left hand side and then off this bottom left hand corner. And that is how you disassemble the duet puzzle. And for reassembling the duet puzzle, we simply need to reverse all the moves that we just did. We're going to keep it simple and essentially the same as we did to take it apart. We're going to have the duet engraving on this bottom side the whole time. If you flip it over, it is a Hanayama engraving, so there's only one real way of holding it in this position while you are able to see that duet engraving. And the hard part about this is, other than sort of eventually memorizing the steps that you need to take to put them back into the right position, you also need to remember that once we, once we get to that crossroads mark in this sort of top right hand corner, you need to, first of all, know the two different routes to get back into this position for these two pieces to line up as they did. But you also need to remember when you're doing it for the second time, right, which one did I, did I do first? I need to remember to do the second of the routines or the, the routine that I didn't do. That'll make a little bit more sense as we're going through it. Now, first of all, we it doesn't matter which piece we do, they are both exactly the same. It's just the order at which they come back into this position that matters to matching them up into their original donut position. So it doesn't matter which one you take. And again, we're gonna be coming on with both pieces in this bottom left hand corner. So first of all, we slide on into that position and then we reconnect it fully in this position here. Then we do one big turn where we cross over three things at a time into this position. We flip it over, we come out into this position. And once we're here, we come over into that top right hand corner. And then we do a big turn over two sides to get to this crossroads point here. So this is the point that we now need to decide which route are we going to take to put it back together. And we're going to follow the same route that we did to take it apart. So the, the piece that we took out first, we're going to put that one back in first. Now for that one, the first move, we cross over into that middle top corner into this position here. And from here, we then flip it upside down and come on to this bottom right hand, uh, the top right hand corner in here. And we do one big turn over two sides into this position here. Now we've just got two moves to put it back together. First of all, we come off that top right hand corner and then we come on into the bottom right hand corner. And that is the first piece done. We don't need to touch that one again. We're now going to do the other piece and we're going to make sure we do the other route. But first of all, we need to do the same moves to put it back into this position up here, that crossroads point. So we're going to come onto the puzzle again that bottom, in that bottom right hand corner and we're going to come over and across into this position and we're going to do one big turn over three sides till we end up here. We're going to flip over. We're going to come over into this position. We're going to flip it over and come into that top right hand corner. And then we're going to do the big turn over two sides again to get to that crossroads point. Now here, instead of crossing over here like we did, we are going to flip it around and come onto the puzzle in this position here. Then we're going to go for one big turn again over three sides, similar to move to what we did just earlier into this position. Then we're going to come over onto that middle piece in here. Then we're going to cross over into the bottom left hand corner and we are nearly there. We just need to come into this bottom position 
here. Then come over the piece at which we separated the donut into this position. And finally, it might even fall into this position when we slide over back into that bottom corner. We simply reconnect the magnets to reassemble that donut, that full or almost full donut position. And that is how you reassemble the duet puzzle. So there it is. That is how you disassemble and then reassemble the duet puzzle. The key really is sort of, I guess, tracking the solution as you're going along and then sort of making that mental note that you actually swap or you take the different route when you are putting it back together. Because that's the real challenge with this one. Identifying when you get to that same point where you can go one of two ways and then making sure you, I guess, don't repeat the same move to put it back together. So otherwise you'll end up with two pieces that don't then match up in that end position. Now hopefully this has helped you solve the duet puzzle for yourself. If you want to pick up more puzzles just like the duet puzzle then check out our website puzzlemaster.ca where we have the biggest variety of puzzles on the internet in the world. Until next time, I'll see you later. <laughs>